Alley with Potomac Beads. Join me in making this Hubble Pie pendant featuring the Hubble stitch in a circular form as well as our new pie duos. If you need any materials, check out the links below to shop with us online. Go ahead and get your bead on it board and let's get started. So to begin our Hubble Pie, what we are going to do is start with Hubble stitch. I want you to have two different colors of 11 OC bead. I'm using silver and gold to keep track of it really, really easily. Whatever color you pick up first is going to be your dominant color, your secondary color or your accent color, here it's the turquoise color, in mine it's going to be the gold, is the one that I pick up second. I have about five feet of wildfire beading thread with a .006 size and I'm using a size 10 needle. I'm sewing through a stop bead two times and I'm leaving about two, three inches at the end, just enough to tie a knot. We're going to sew through bead number one. I added three 11s and I'm gonna sew through bead number one. If you haven't watched the intro Hubble stitch video that I did, make sure to check that out. And once again, thanks to Melanie for this fun stitch. Coming out of bead number one, I'm going to add one gold bead for my fourth bead in this set and sew down bead number two. Pull nice and tight and make sure it's sitting, I call it a little foosball mend to make sure that it's sitting that you have these first three beads sitting in a V and their arms are kind of sticking straight up and the head is sitting right in the middle. Add three more beads, one, two, and three. Push those three beads down to your last little Hubble unit. So back through bead number one, only bead number one, Push this unit currently of three next to the previous one. And now the second little unit, we need to add the head to our man. Add bead number four and sew down through bead number two. So there you have two units. We're gonna make a total of 12 units, but the 12th unit, we're gonna add the two together to make it into a circular shape. So I want you to continue doing your groups of three of your Crystal Lab full silver color, sewing back through bead number one so that it forms kind of that triangle. Push that against the last little right angle unit, or sorry, the little Hubble unit. Add one more gold bead for the head and sew down bead number two. So I want you to continue this till you have a total of 13 of your Hubble stitch units here. So you want to make sure that you have 13 units. Right now you can see I have three. I have, or I'm sorry, 11. I don't know why I'm saying 13. You want 11 of your units and then we're going to join them together after we do the 12th. So you want 11 total and you can do number 12 with me. Once you're through 11 units, I want you to go ahead and do the 12th unit. The 12th unit is going to be our connector point. So I've gone ahead, I've put on my three beads, I added the head onto my little foosball player, and I'm coming down his right arm. This is unit number 12. You can see that the heads of the guys, this is why it reminds me of foosball, they kind of swing all the way around, sometimes they're doing headstands and whatnot. We're going to make sure as we do a second row on top of this that all of their heads are sitting upright. Their heads that are sitting upright are actually going to become the feet of the next unit that sits on top. We need to turn this into a circle to create our bail. To do so, coming out of unit number 12, we're going to go over to unit number 1 and sew up bead number 1, his left arm, next to the stop bead, as well as through his head. So my threaded needle is coming down bead number 2 the way that it's supposed to be in unit number 12. I'm taking my thread and needle, going back through bead number one, and while I'm there, I'm stepping up through that gold head, which is bead number four. That's gonna circle this out and bring it into a circular formation. We're gonna build a second row of Hubble stitch on top of this first row. So I wanna add two silver beads. The gold bead that was the head of the first unit is now going to be the legs of the second unit. 
adding two beads and coming out the gold bead, I'm going to sew back through the gold bead. Once I'm out of that gold bead, I'm going to sew back through silver bead number one, add on my head there, silver bead number two, and come on down. As you come down there, you're going to go in the opposite direction towards the stop bead here and make sure that all of their little heads are facing upright that you're going to attach to. As you go in here, what I want you to do is you're going to sew into that gold bead, but first you're going to add one, two silvers. Sew into that gold bead that's to the left, but sew from the left towards the right. Sew back through bead number one, that first silver bead. Coming out the top there, add one more gold bead and sew down bead number two. So again, if you do need a little help with this Hubble stitch, I have another video. You can also get Melanie De Miguel's book, which we'll put the links into here as well, who created the Hubble stitch. Two 11s go on. I'm going into the next gold bead in line, sewing towards the unit I'm working with, and then I'm going to sew back up through bead number one of those two silvers that I put on. When I give a nice tight pull, you can see how that creates that second row of Hubble stitch. Add another 11 in the gold color to work as the head and sew down through that left arm. Once again, make sure that gold is sitting to the top because we always want to add to the gold. You're going to add your two beads, go to the next golden line and sew back through it going from the left towards the right, the side that you're working on. Go through bead number one of those first two that you just added. And you're going to add what is your fourth bead to your unit, a new gold one. So I have four that I've done here. So you can see these four guys kind of sitting on top of the last heads underneath them. I need to do a total of 12. So I have eight more units to go. As I go around the circle, making sure always that the gold bead or that head is to the top, and that gold bead will become the legs of the next unit as it's built on top of it. As you complete your 12th unit here, you can see you look like you have a little bit of a gap there, even though you're doing those 12 stacked right on top of the previous 12. As you join the first and the 12th unit, that'll kind of close that up. So what you're going to do, just like we did the first row to make it into this circle, is you're going to, coming out of the 12th row and coming out of that left bead, we're going to sew into the right bead here of the first little guy from this row. And that closes that up. And you can see now it sits kind of almost like a ring. It would be a beautiful little ring if you wanted to wear it as such. What we're going to do is use it to create a nice, really, really simple, we don't have to think about it too much bezel which is awesome. So what I want you to do is right now, this is going to be the front of the, the Rivoli. And this again is for a 14 millimeter Rivoli. I want you to step up from that silver bead into the gold bead that's part of that same right angle unit. From here, we're gonna do another row of gold. So I'm gonna do another row of gold, but all I'm gonna do, this is ever so simple, is I'm just gonna add 12 new gold beads. I'm gonna add the 12 new gold beads into the 12 that sit at the top. One gold bead goes on, I sew through the next gold bead that's in the next Hubble unit. So we're basically connecting the tops of all of these Hubble units. In goes a gold, on to the next gold. So you're gonna start adding them the whole way around in the circle till you have 12 in place there. Once you have the 12 in place, we're going to get ready with our Rivoli to add and to do the same thing along the back of the piece as well. So as you get ready to add your 12th bead here, I want you to sew back through Hubble unit number one that your thread was originally coming out of, through bead number one that you added in the row, and then Hubble bead number two. What that's going to do is allow you now to take all of these beads, 
give a nice tight pull and you can see how it's pulled that into a nice little bezel shape. Our bead, our Rivoli, will sit right inside of there. So you're gonna just kind of bend back the sides a little bit, take your Rivoli face down, push it into the back there. If you need to, sometimes you can kind of grab with your needle and thread, bring the bead to the back, and you can see how perfectly that sits right inside there without any fuss. I'm gonna take my thread and needle again back through all of those beads, the 12 that I just added, as well as the 12 that were already there at the top of the unit. And what that's going to do is tighten up this connection point for the crystal. Once you have that nice and tight and you've gone around the whole way, what you're gonna do is come down the side of the Hubble unit. So you're coming out, of, you wanna make sure your thread is coming out of one of the heads of the Hubble bead there rather than one of the 12 that you just added. You're gonna go down through the arm of that Hubble unit, one of the silver beads, and you're gonna go then down through the gold, so we're just zigzagging basically down the side, down through the silver bead that sits right below it, and as you come down that silver bead that sits right below it, you're also going to go down into that first bead line that we added with our Hubble stitch. Now all of these beads here along the back are silver. If you wanted to keep track and nice and easy, you can pick up gold or silver and we're going to do the exact same thing that we did to the front. Add a new bead and sew through the next one in line, almost like a peyote stitch. Adding a bead, sewing through the next one, sitting in line. So again, you're repeating the same thing that you did for the front and it's really, really nice and simple to see how quick you can use the Hubble stitch to create a nice Rivoli bezel. As you finish up going along the back, I have my last bead there that's on. You can see I've sewn down through that row of that silver and gold. Again, trying to kind of tighten that up. And it really is cool how easily that Rivoli is gonna sit in there. From here, after going back kind of around the circle, and go around a little bit more, what I want you to do is go out the Hubble stitch so that you're coming out through the gold bead that sits on the corner peaks there. Those 12 gold beads that sit on the corner of the Rivoli are going to get little sunbursts or little rays sticking out of them. We're gonna do yet another round of Hubble stitch off of those gold beads. However, instead of just doing three beads at a time, what we are going to do is we're gonna do three beads on the side, three beads on this side, so six beads total, come back around and add our other bead. So right now, go ahead and sew up along the design, up through one of those Hubble units, again, making sure you're coming out a silver bead, since that's part of your unit, and you're gonna give a nice tight pull, and then come out through your gold bead. So you're gonna think about this as another row of your Hubble stitch as you're exiting. From here, I want you to do one and two of your silver, one and two gold, and one and two silver. We're gonna sew back through this gold bead and create that little kind of loop. Two of the silver beads and one of the gold bead is going to be on each side of my Hubble stitch. So previously we had a silver on one side, a silver on the other side, and then we came back and we added a gold. Instead, our sides, we're gonna do three drop, our sides are gonna have three beads on each side. Add another silver bead and sew down through what I'm calling bead number two, which is the collection of beads. Going over to the next one here, two silvers, one gold for one side, one gold, two silvers. So back through the next gold bead towards the unit you're working on. And as you do that then, sew up through the right side or bead number one, which is gonna be again, three beads, two silvers and one gold. Exit through that gold, add a silver, and down through the three beads that are on bead or side number two. I'll do it one more time. Two silvers and one gold. Then we need one gold and two silvers. Go back through the next gold 11L 
And then again, sew up your three beads that are all gonna be called bead number one. Once you're up through side number one, add one bead, sew down side number two. So I've got three of these little petals on here with that three drop Hubble. I'm gonna continue till I have almost a sunflower look and I get the nice collection of 12 of my little sunflower loops on it. After you go through and do your 12th little petal here, and I should say you can stop here if you want, it's a beautiful little pendant, or you can even do another row of Hubble stitch with 80 seed beads to make it look more like a sunflower. What you wanna do is after you finish number 12, I want you coming down the second bead or the second side, those three beads on the left, I want you to go up through the first three beads on the first little petal and out through the first 11-0 in silver. We're gonna go around the piece now, catching on to all of the 11-0s in silver and add on our pie duos. So to do so, coming out that 11-0, you're gonna add your pie duo going out through the hole, starting where the point is. Coming out of the top then, I want you to add one and two and three of your 15 O's. Now these are silver lined crystal because I don't really want to see them that much. It's up to you if you want to make them a statement or keep them separate. Come down through your pie duo bead and sew through the next silver peak on the little petal. When you add these beads, pull nice and tight so that way those three beads kind of lay just right along the top. Again, add your next pie duo starting at the V, going towards the rounded edge. And then as you do so, go ahead and add one, two, and three of your 15s and down through the second bead over through the next 11-0 and give a nice tight pull. So you're gonna do this a total of 12 times getting those pie duos to sit right next to one another. So as you go around and add in your 12th of your pie duos, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to go through the 11-0 that your thread was originally coming out of when you added your first pie duo in that Aztec gold color, and then go up through the top of that first pie duo. Give a nice tight pull to make sure to pull those all in nice and tightly. And you can see if you want, you can stop even right here. That's a beauty of a lot of this design is that you can stop really at any point. If you want to, you can just string a line of seed beads around the outer edge, or you can connect to an endless circle ring. Our final step as we go around in the circle is to pick up three and four of your 11 i I'm choosing my silver color, and you sew through your three 15s that are already there. Just creates a nice circular line. Four, four 11s, sew through the three 15s. Once I get back to that original start area, I'll go ahead then and make my bail. So very simple to go around and make the exterior of this pendant. When you get to the top of the pendant here, what we're gonna do is use this opportunity to kind of close up a little bit of that gap. So to do so, you're going to just on the last one, use one, two, three, four, and five. No one will notice that. You can use four if you want, but then it creates a little bit of that bowing effect. What I want you to do then is go through those first 15s that your thread was coming out of, and then through the first four 11 OC beads. Once you're through those beads, we're gonna get ready to create our bail at the top of our pendant. To create our bail, we're coming out of those four of our 11s, and we're gonna pick up one, two, three, and four of our gold 11s. So back through those four beads, and then I want you to sew up through beads one and two. As you sew back up through beads one and two, grab one, two, three, and four more gold beads. So down through the two gold on the right, and now sew up through the four gold on the left, the two that you already went up through and the two that you just added. And 
And you can see that's starting to create this nice little herringbone bale. So to create the herringbone bale then, you're just gonna go and add two beads at a time. I like that my thread a little bit. One and two, three and four. Go down through the previous two beads on the right hand side, and this is square stitch. And we're gonna go up through the last four beads on the left, the two that sit right next to the two my thread are coming out of, and the two that I just added. And there you go. Again, one and two, three, four. Coming out the top of the left-hand side, go down through the right two, and then go up through the last left four. The two that sit next to that, and the two you just added to create the nice fun bale there. I'm gonna add a couple more, and then we're gonna connect it to the back of our pendant right there at that section of the four 11 OC beads. If you want to as well, I was mentioning you can take this form now if you want to, and actually attach it to the front of one of the 40 millimeter rings with a little bit of brick stitch. Once you're adding the last beads of your bale here, and you're coming up through the final four beads, and you notice I turned my piece over, so I'm working towards the back, I'm gonna fold this bale over and sew through those first original four beads, those first four 11 O's. Then what I'm gonna do, is sew back up through the first two beads on the other side. So you can see that it brings the thread right down there, pulls them together, sew back down through the last two here on the left, give a nice tight pull, and then sew your thread end down to the side. This gives you a nice square stitch bail for your pendant, your medallion to kind of hang from of with all of your pieces of a pie right in a row there in that nice little Hubble stitch pie pendant. As always, thank you so much for joining me in creating this fun Hubble pie pendant. It was a really nice way to learn how to do a bezel in that fun Hubble stitch. Really, really easy, great for a beginner once you learn that Hubble stitch. Remember, if you do want more Hubble stitch directions and ideas, check the links below to get a link to Melanie's book, and that way you can learn all the different Hubble stitch techniques. Also, remember, there's another Intro to Hubble Stitch video as well. Remember, also, if you haven't already, give a little thumbs up, comment below, and say what colors you're interested in creating this fun pendant any changes that you made, any variety that you'd like to see, as well as any questions that you may have. Also remember, if you haven't yet, subscribe so that way you don't miss anything from us here at Potomac Beads. As always, thank you so much for joining me and enjoy your new Hubble Pie Pendant.